I believe no, not every one of us, and I think it's pretty, 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 very true for people that are watching my videos here on this channel. I don't think lots of us have the luxury of getting to be in a position where we do day trade stocks on a full-time basis. Why? Because most of us have job, most of us go to school, most of us have a business to run, most of us have maybe multiple jobs, multiple activities that they do run on a daily basis. So it's kind of difficult for them to be constantly attached to a screen and analyzing the RSI and indicators in order to see exactly when to buy, when to sell stocks, all right? But let me just share with you based on my experience because I did day trade, you know, at some point on a full-time basis, but I came up with a Another strategy that many other people are using, and it's about the swing trading. Because swing trading gives you um, the ability not to be totally and constantly attached to a screen, looking for what the markets are doing, looking for what the prices are doing, looking for what, you know, the correlation between these assets, these sectors, the Fed said this, this president said this, what is happening in geopolitics, because you don't have that kind of time, all right? So swing trading gives you the ability to actually make the most of both worlds, the investing world and the trading world, because it's kind of in between the two. If you do day trade on a daily basis, it means every single day you have to buy and sell. Plus, in order to day trade, most of the brokerage companies, the brokerage accounts will require you to have a minimum balance. If, you take, if I take Fidelity or TD Ameritrade, for example, TD Ameritrade requires to have $25,000 in order to do day trading, meaning I can buy now, sell the next five minutes, buy again in the next 10 minutes, sell again, what we call scalping, for example, all right? So when it goes up, I buy, it goes down. I mean, when it goes down, I buy, it goes up, I sell. Again, I, I rinse and repeat all the way throughout the entire trading session. Maybe for one stock, maybe for multiple stocks, maybe for futures, maybe for commodities, maybe for crypto, et cetera, et cetera. This is what I used to do and I'm still doing, but not on a daily basis because I figured that by doing so, I mean, I didn't have time to actually do my job, even though I was working from home. So how even difficult if you are not working from home? So the swing trading strategy as a strategy gives you the ability to actually not have to put too much work you know on a daily basis especially but also to do your work once and to touch base maybe once or twice a day to monitor and see if it does make sense for you to be invested or to hold that position but on the top the the, the greater advantages is to actually when it's time to get out because you don't have to wait for it to actually get to the literally to the moon to actually get let me show you exactly what i'm talking about here because it will make more sense now let me take an example on this stock this is a small cap all right and it's better to trade small caps in as a swing trading because the small caps have a better volatility they have a bigger volatility than the big chips. Small caps are these companies that you don't even know about that are trading mostly in the Russell 2000. Those are the small and medium companies, right? The big chips like Tesla, Amazon, everybody trades them. All the pension funds, all the mutual funds, all the index funds buys them, all right? So it's already traded and crowded. It's crowded. Everybody has them. Everybody trades them. That's why the volume is so high. But if on a good day, it can go up to two, three, maybe 5%. But a small company or a volatile stock can go all the way up to 10, 15, 20% on a very good day, but also true on the downtrend. So that's why it's interesting for you because let's take, for example, here, this is an oil and gas company. So with oil and gas prices being high, I know that any significant pullback in this stock I will, will be a viable, interesting project on a swing trading base. Why? Because ultimately the target on this play, for example, is $100, but that $100 may not come here before the next, I don't know, quarter, or maybe by the end of this year, or maybe it may come, I don't know, in a couple of weeks, if we get a short squeeze, for example. So that gives me the ability to actually see and set my price target. So whenever it reaches 55, you know, I bought here at 55 and when it went all the way up to 66, as you can see here, boom, I already sold and I sold my position that I took here, making a significant decent amount of profit. All right. Because the dip was a viable dip given the current environment of the oil and gas sector. Let me switch and go back to another sector, the airlines. When the markets were dropping a couple of weeks ago on the the tail of what is happening with Russia, well, 
United Airlines dropped all the way to, I think, 20 to 30 percent to thirty one dollars a share. So I bought around maybe the thirty six. And then I thought, well, I was making a good deal. But the next day, boom, it dropped another 12 percent at thirty one. So on the way down, I bought in order to average my position, my price down. And that's how I ended up with a price around thirty, what, thirty two, thirty four. So by that time, I knew that when the market would recover, boom, the stock will also recover because it was kind of oversold at that time. So I bought here and I sold around here, making also, what, $5 per share. It wasn't a ton of money, but it was money, you know, $800, $800 uh, 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 um, gain on what, three days, all right? So again, I didn't have to constantly be attached to my screen or to my, you know, laptop because I knew that at some point it will have to recover. So this is why I think Swing trading is actually one of the best strategies that you can actually make money buying trading stocks, not investing, trading stocks, uh, while, you know, continuing what you have to do. And the best of all is even if you think or if you experience some, you know, catalyst that may push the share price a little bit higher, you can turn that into an investment and hold it for, I don't know, six months, one year, two years. Nobody knows. It might come to, you know, some catalyst pushing the price even higher. So let me know in the comment section what you think. And uh, we might get into how to detect, how to actually flag and, you know, pick all the stocks that will run for the next couple of weeks based on what is happening in the market.